Fellow Warriors, how's going? This is Kesson. Right, welcome back to Dusty Wars 3. Now, after taking revenge against Wu for killing Wan Yu, even though he's still alive, so I don't know, an invisible revenge, basically, it was. And, uh, well, we're ready to continue Lu Bei's story on the 8th stage of the worst, the worst stage ever, but it has to be faced. What is this humidity? I don't see how people could live here. The Nanman are strong because of their knowledge of terrain. Lord Juge has advised us to attack their spirits. Oh, their spirits? Ha! Ah. Still, in this weather, it will be hard to endure. That's it! I'll be all dried up before noon! <laughs> Then there's me with iced water on my desk. Honestly, what a better moment. I bet Jean Fei will fucking kill me if, if he sees me. He will literally destroy me. Or I don't know, find a way to get my water, my iced water. Because I literally put ice cubes in my, in my bottle of water. So, <laughs> okay, 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 let's see. I'm going with right there here because I really wanna do this and finish this ASAP. I really don't wanna have anything to do with this stage, but unfortunately it has to be done. I keep saying this every every time. It has to be done. Uh, it has to be done. Oh, and by the way, I'm not even the leader. Jugilian, what the fuck? What? Zhao Yun, how dare you? Oh my god, why we are a sub officer Zhao Yun? What? No way. Yeah, no way. I can't believe it. I, will plead for your soul. I just can't believe it, really. What I just seen. Lube. Are you for real? Why are you getting orders from Zhao Yun? He likes Zhao Yun that much that he will even uh, get orders from him. That's how bad it is. His love for Zhao Yun. He will even get orders from him. It is that bad. Liu Bei is like a masochist. He wants to be like, Oh, please, Zhao Yun, God and mighty Zhao Yun, who saved my useless baby. Please, like, let me... I want to I wanna submit to you, please. Oh, my God. I, I, I bet that's how it is with Liu Bei and Zhao Yun. This really seems to be very, very close. Liu Bei and Zhao Yun. Way too close, indeed. But come on. <laughs> Even being a sub officer. Really? But come on, you're fired, Zhao Yun. How dare you? Making me your sub officers. You're fired. Go away. But I bet Liu Bei likes it. He he won't mind. I know. Okay, I'm pretty sure Liu Bei won't mind being a sub officer of Zhao Yun. He will like be so happy about it. I, I can tell. I know I'm, I'm like, uh... You are here. You are early. Yeah. Okay, I'm here and early. I'm like trying to skip the entire level, but trust me, it's not like... it. It's not what it looks like. I'm just uh, killing officers. I'm not trying to skip the whole level. Even to I, I really wish I could. But... I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it, so don't worry. You need to really skip in this wool level, probably one of the best things that I'll ever do. One day, I swear, I'm going to do it. I'm literally going like, to skip this entirely. One day, like rushing through Mongo and finish the stage. I'm gonna do it one day, I swear. Like, honestly. I know probably if I do it, people will get pissed off at me for doing something that stupid. Basically, it's just like missing a le um, an upgrade level, 
So yeah, I'm, I'm not doing myself a favor by doing uh, something like that. You know, it will probably it will probably be something that uh, will affect me in a in a bad way. Because I'm gonna lose all the upgrades that I could get on now, man. And there's actually quite a lot to upgrade in the end, because too many officers. And Mongo, we need to defeat him seven times, really. That's a good way to level up, that's for sure. It's a really good way of leveling up. So that will probably be a bad thing to do. That's why I'm not doing it, and I don't think I'll ever will. It's never, it has never been my style to like just, I don't know, skip in the entire fucking level during my let's play. And that's something I'll do probably on my own, when I, if I play on my own. But not if I play on, if I do a let's play, of course, I'm not gonna skip the entire stage like this, rush through the boss. Because that's something I, everybody can do. Like, everybody. Honestly, it's way too stupid doing stuff like that. Uh, anybody can do it with any fucking level. Hey, bro, oh bro, okay, wanna come here? Oh my god, what if I can lure him here? He can break the gate for me. Oh my god, that'll be awesome. But it's not that easy. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Can probably lure this guy to do it. No, he won't come. Or oh, maybe he will. Let's see if he falls me. No, it doesn't. Uh, so it, will, it won't be that easy. It won't be that easy. No, it won't. Let's just leave it. And... Oh, God damn it. Come on, get out! This is, this is when you wish to have jump. Whoa! The only time you wish, you got jump. <laughs> because jump in the end can be good for... For the Naman stage, he really can. But for the situation, definitely not. But yeah, you know what I mean. Still, the uh, the elephants are like only in Naman, only in fucking Naman. So limited, can't even get a saddle, which is stupid in my opinion. Why they won't even let you get a saddle, man? That's just re retarded. Okay, I wonder if Red Air will stay, but probably not. I'm gonna lose Red Air. Or maybe not, actually. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's find out if Red Air is still there. Uh, probably not. I don't think it is. Once you, j once you jump to another horse, uh, your main horse will disappear. So it did disappear right there. It's fine. I lost Red Air. It doesn't matter. And I got no moving a fucking inch. I can't believe it. He loves that spot. Dai Lai Dongju. He loves that. F See, what? He's not moving at all. Oh my god, bro. What? Are you okay? Not moving a stupid damn fucking inch. Just move. Move, bro. Just move. Ah. Oh. Really? Oh god damn. I know some some officers they do have a uh, Norse but it was like at the beginning of the game. There was somebody who had a Norse like Jubao I think or something. Now slow as elephant Go Lubei go Go Lubei Lubei riding elephant Haha, <laughs> I shall now conquer all China with my big ass elephant and restore peace to the land and kill Sun Quan and avenge my brother that's not dead. Not that I think about it, it's not even it's not in this battle. It's not uh it's not here. It doesn't appear at Naman Guan Yu, if I recall. Let me just check, because why not? Nah, I want to peer. Where even is Jumfei? Bah! 
Jeff even appeared in the cutscene, but he's not in the stage. Okay, it makes sense. No, it doesn't, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Not that I care who appears in the stage anyway. Like, how does it even affect me? I don't know. Unless... I have to face gardening. That... Will probably affect me. Mentally. If I have to face gardening on very hard difficulty. I don't wanna even think about it. Like, let me not think about it. Facing gardening is like, one worst thing in this game. Facing him is just like, worse than facing Lubu. You can't, you can't really deal with gunning and healing very well. With a weak Carter, honestly, gunning will literally destroy you. Even if you have a max Carter, you're so dead. You're like so damn dead. <laughs> like dead. Malianga? Malianga should also be playable as Carter. Malianga appears very often as an NPC, I noticed. Mm hmm. Very, very, very often. I know Mal Yang is supposed to be uh, one of the main cart. Well, main cartes. I mean, how can I say one of the main cartes for the Jing province? There we go. There. Mal Yang got a good knowledge of Jing province. So, and it was indeed Mal Yang who told Yu Bei that to conquer. Um, To conquer Jin province, he had to first deal with uh, the local lords. So yeah. Maliang was he was indeed a bright guy indeed. And he was famous to have a uh, grey eyebrows. So yeah, they call him like grey eyebrows some dude basically. Maliang. He was famous for having great eyebrows. Uh, like, really? Who the fuck is famous for having great eyebrows? Come on, man! Well, Liu Bei was famous to have, for having long arms and big ears. So, yeah. He <laughs> just seems a little bit big ears, Liu Bei. And even long arms, too. So, yeah. <laughs> but, great eyebrows. Oh, my God. I don't know if any of you even know Maliang or... Uh, know what I'm talking about, but yeah, Maliang was just um, one of the guys who lived in Jing. He lived in Jing and he knows Jing province like he's fucking great eyebrows, <laughs> basically. He knows Jing province quite well and he, he really gave good advice to, to Liu Bei when once Liu Bei stepped in Jing province by uh, stealing it from Wu. So. Basically, Maliang appeared and said, Hey, bro, uh, to conquer Jin province, you need to first deal with the local lords, blah, blah, blah. So that's how Liu Bei started the campaign against An Xuan, Li, uh, Liu Du, and other local lords. And now I forgot the names. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, then Maliang died uh, healing. He got shot. Or just killed, I don't know. He got killed. I know he got killed a healing Maliang. <laughs> he was only 35. That sucks, man. Then Maliang died. He was he was just accompanied um like he, he just accompanied Liu Bei uh, a healing as an advisor. So not that he he really did a good job to be honest, because he didn't like uh, w uh predict the fire attack. I mean come on. But Zhuge Lian was at to guard Jing province, so he really couldn't go to um, to Liu Bei's side because Liu Bei decided to literally rush through Wu's territory like nothing. So obviously uh, Zhuge Lian couldn't come because he had to protect Jing province. He was way too open. Well, you know Jing Province, sorry. Um, Chengdu, I mean. Jing Province was already captured. My bad, my bad. Chengdu, Zhuge Liang was protecting Chengdu. So, yeah, he really couldn't, like, um, move from Chengdu. So, yeah. I mean, Liu Bei should at least waited to uh, invade Wu. 
because Liu Bei was still one of the most powerful uh, rulers. Even though he lost Jing, he was still very strong because Chen Du Shu got very good defense. So just like uh, like Wu, he's, he's a very defensive location. Jing Province. I mean Chengdu. Why keep saying Jing Province? So yeah. Not to think about all you base province are fucking stolen, you know. Jing Province, then Chengdu. They are all stolen! Oh my god, I just I just thought about it. God damn it, Liu Bei literally made his kingdom by stealing. Well, technically, even, I don't know if Cao Cao kind of stole it, he just, he, well, he conquered it, kind of, sort of. Uh, I'm, I'm not finished yet. Oh. <laughs> but Liu Bei probably stole it. He stole Chengdu and then, like, he stole, well, he stole Jin Province and then he stole Chengdu. Like, honestly. He was like a proper thief, Liu Bei. Proper thief. Okay, so we've done wait. We're at eighth stage. Let's see what's next. It's not over yet. It's not fucking over yet. God damn, it's not over. <laughs> okay, jetting. We can do jetting. Masu, oh my god, Masu. If there's one thing that Masu is famous for, it's for his failure at Jieting. That's literally all he's known for, for failing at Jieting. Well, tell me, tell me. I mean, Masu was only known for being a failure. Zhang Wei, isn't this land perfect? It is dangerous. We will lose our path of retreat. If we camp on the mountain. Well now, will Masu be capable of success? He will. Is the main city of the Shu army. Is the main city of the Shu army, really? Okay. Wait for General Zhou Yu. General Zhou Yu? Who's that? What the fuck? I, I really don't recall I don't recall there was a uh, a guy called uh, Joe Yu in Shu I really don't do you guys know anybody who's called Joe Yu in Shu uh, damn it oh I can't really think oh Joe Yu who's that I don't know I really don't know who's that Joe Yu General Joe Yu oh, from Shu I know General Joe Joe Yu from Wu but not uh shoe. Okay. First platoon of ambush. That's a lot of troops. Honestly, that's really a lot. Which we can crush easily. Like easy. Easy, easy, easy. Using the charge. The charge flask will be so useless, honestly. <laughs> Because increasing your charge attacks, of course, that will be great, but the problem is, you can't increase it for nothing. Even if it's maxed, you really don't see any difference of the charge attack increase. L really, it's just ridiculous. The fact that, it, that uh, the charge flask does nothing. Even maxed, the maxed is 15. Maybe if it was like, maybe, I don't know, at least... Uh, 45 at the max uh, or 50 then he will have done something but come on he doesn't do shit like nothing a max church flask just does nothing okay we make making sure the masu will be successful in his expedition See how good I am. I'm hating the poor Masu. You need to fight harder, Masu. You really need to fight harder. You're like the one that needs to fight harder than everybody. Like, everybody. 
Like, give it your whole masu. Give it all your fucking all. Okay. So, another ambush. Wait, another ambush we got. You cool. To walk to one's own grave. That shoe general. So stupid. Whoa. Call him stupid. <laughs> oh, that's what he is. Really. That's what you need to do, by the way, to get uh, Liu Bei's fifth weapon. After Masu is surrounded, like, they fish this uh, one of John his sub officers. And then you got the weapon. Like, it's very easy getting uh, Liu Bei's fifth weapon. Very easy. Way too easy, indeed. One of these fit weapons. I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I got right there, to be honest. Again, why I have red right there? Tell me. Somebody can please explain me why I got red right there? I mean, it's not that I need it. I know you people probably wonder, what the fuck do I know, Kesson? Like, zero problem. You equipped it. Why are you asking me? I'm not with you while you record. I know. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry. It's just me. Me just wondering questions. Nonsense questions. And no, this battlefield will not be my last. Because I survived this fucking far with Lu Bei. And I really don't I really don't think so. I really don't think this will be my last battle. I'm a strong ja I'm a strong Lidu. Lidu, a leader. Zen He. Zen He. Oh no, G General Zen He. That's how, that's how Suma you call him. General Zen He. <laughs> Zen He. <laughs> Who the fuck is Zen He? Ooh, attack plus eight. Oh, eight, eight. Uh. Grace is equally important in retreat. Okay, that, nice nipple too. My god, I love Jean his design in this game. He, he got the best. The best game design, really. Arjun's design is just so good in this game. Can I get him on my horse? What the fuck? Oh lord. Come on. One small fucking texture hill will prevent me from mount my horse. What bullshit is this? No, really, man. I really found it proper bullshit. The one single texture. One small texture and you kind of get on your horse. Okay, why is that? Come on, ooh, that's my birthday. Oh my god, what's going on over there? I really should, I should stay in my alley sooner, now look. Ugh, Sima Zhao, what the fuck? You're destroying everyone. Even the way I saw them. Is this how he take me from saving him, Yang Wei? Really? That, that, that's not the way, really, to tank me, by the way. Because I saved his ass. Well, okay, remove the axe then. Drop the axe! Come on, drop the axe! Will you drop the axe? Yeah. What?! The Yang Wei, you killed Sumo Zhao! Oh my god! Uh, he kills Sumo Zhao! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, Sumo is gonna be so mad! <gasps> Jesus! Okay, Dian is getting fired because of, because of that. I can't really imagine Sumo Yi firing Dian Wei. I can't imagine that. I can't fucking imagine. You f idiot! You fool! You imbecile! Yeah, well, don't call Sima Zhao. God damn it. You should be ashamed. I can imagine you're ready to see Sima Yi imbecile. Then, then probably uh, this Sima, Sima Shi will be like, he's gonna be like amused and still call him imbecile. Like imbecile. Why did you have to survive? Kung Kessin, forget about you. Why did why did he have to play as you? Coco is here. 
a Jeeting because we also saved him. And Lubei will also be the same. He's also going to be rescued. Oh, I love the feeling of rescue this people. I love it. I just love it, honestly. It's amazing. It's just a good feeling, really. Imagine to finally save uh, these guys that will die in in their historical ways. <laughs> then all of a sudden they just end up being alive. Oh yeah, soon my use item is bugged, by the way, it won't give you anything. He won't give you anything. He's bugged, the guy. Like bugged. I think he just give you like a plus one defense. Like it gives you nothing. So nurse the buffs, I think he's he's denied, yeah, it's denied. <laughs> then I NPC still feel special. And I love it. I'm glad then I get special treatment, even as an NPC. It got a while to get playable, but still, I always loved the knight since he was an NPC. I remember in Dynasty Wars 2, he felt a special NPC and I liked that about him. So I thought, why did we make this guy playable? Oh my god, I really can't wait to, for this guy to be playable. And then I combo him to death like nothing. God. <laughs> Just show how I love this character by combo him to death, but okay. Just my way to to show my love for the Carter. <laughs> Come on into that. That's it. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts. Why does he hurt so much? God damn it. Oops. It really hurts. That's why we met Elixir prepared to be a Musa spammer. There's nothing better than being a fucking Musou spammer in this kind of situations. Not really. Being a Musou spammer is just the best thing to do. When you go nothing, nothing good, not no good attacks, being a Musou spammer is the best way. Except if you're Jugalian. If you're Jugalian, you cannot be anything. You you can be a, like a food for the enemies. Like really. You can be a fucking nobody if you play as Jugal Young. Do not think this is the end. I'm back. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right. Let's see what we got. Obviously, all shit. I'm just waiting for a moment, a historical moment where well, I'll get the Musa armor. Oh, I'm gonna party. Alright, fellow warriors, and I guess this is it for now, and I'll catch you guys later. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys for the next video. And also, subscribe to my channel, Repeat Obsessive. Thanks again for all the members, supporters of my channel. Make sure you consider become a member yourself to access exclusive perks and even become a top member too. So, see you guys soon and take care. Bye bye.